In this video, I will show you how to use My Schedule Builder, or MSB, to create a visual representation of a semester timetable and to register for your classes. You can find MSB on the Register and Pay tab of your My MRU account. Look for the little calendar icon on the right-hand side. If you need assistance in using MSB after this video, there is an abundance of resources listed under the Learn How to Use MSB link. To begin, looking at your schedule options, click on the calendar icon. Here, you are presented with several past and future semesters. Select the semester you want to work in. The initial page you load will have two panels, the Select Courses panel and the Schedule Results panel. You can collapse or expand a panel by clicking on the double chevrons. In the Select Courses panel, begin typing the name of a course that you would like to take. We are going to start with UGST 1001. Once you click Enter, you will see the course legend and a calendar depicting the days and times that the course is offered. Many courses have multiple sections. A section is the same course held at a different time or day or with a different instructor or delivery method. You can view the different sections by clicking on the arrows next to the results. In this case, we have several different sections to view. The middle of the page shows the course legend. It is very important to read the course legend as it will tell you if the course is full or whether there are restrictions or prerequisites that you need to meet before registering for the course. You can review specific prerequisites and restrictions by looking at the course details pop-up menu on the actual registration system. One handy functionality of MSB is its ability to prioritize results based on your availability preferences. For example, the result that we are looking at shows a class offered on Mondays and Wednesdays. If you want to try to prioritize having Mondays off, click and drag where you don't want class. MSB has now moved the Monday and Wednesday class to the back of the options. Let's add a few more classes to the schedule. Math 1200, Gen Ed 1103, Journalism 1709. One thing to keep in mind is that the colors for each of the courses are only used to help you distinguish them from each other on the schedule. They have no other meaning. If you were to refresh the page on your browser, you would see a different set of colors for each course. By clicking the arrows next to the result above your schedule, you can see how many different schedules we could have. Immediately, we can see a problem with some of our chosen courses. The Gen Ed 1103 section we have selected is full. There are no more seats available in this class. In the legend, you can see this by noting the orange line on the side of the class in the schedule. You can choose to waitlist for the class when you go onto the registration page or choose a different section. You can see this in the Select Courses panel, but for now, let's just get rid of it. Let's see if we can tighten things up a bit. We'll black out 3 to 8 p.m. Much better. There is another problem with our schedule. If you look closely at the legend, you'll see that this particular section of Journalism 1709 is restricted for students in the Journalism minor. So, unless I am in this minor, I cannot take this class. By clicking or pinning UGST 1001 and Math 1200, we can hold these two in place while looking to see if there is another section of Journalism 1709 that is unrestricted. Once you have a schedule that you are happy with, you can save your schedule as a favorite. This is especially useful if you are planning out your schedule before your registration access date. If you would like to register for the classes you've added, click the Get This Schedule button. Here you can see the classes you've chosen, as well as any linked components, an action column, and an option column. The drop-down menu in the Options column allows you to register, drop, or waitlist. After the add slash drop date each semester, the option to withdraw will be shown. When you click do actions, whatever action you have selected in the options column will be performed. After a time, the result column will show whether the action was successful or not. I hope you've enjoyed this video on how to use MSB. Now it's your turn to play around and build your own schedule.